Hey everyone, please over to the video with Blazer, and right now we are about to check out G Idol's latest comeback with Nude with an X. <laughs> so yeah, this is G Idol's latest comeback and their first comeback after the monster success that was Tomboy. Yeah, y'all saw my reaction to Tomboy. I thoroughly enjoyed Tomboy, and I was just so happy that the song was as big of a success as it did because, as we all know. That was their first comeback as five members, and just the fact that, you know, this was their make-or-break moment. They're like, okay, we need a song that was going to be a big hit, or the inevitable would happen, as has happened for pretty much every cute girl group before, so. But, they proved everyone wrong who said, oh, they're done for now. No, they were a huge success, bigger than they ever were before, and the fact that it was all through Jowdle's hard work alone just... Hurrah for self-composing, and yeah, they're back with this comeback, and did you guys hear that they sold like over 700,000 pre-orders of their album? That is by far, with just the pre-sales alone, the best-selling album that Cube, any Cube act has ever done. So, I mean, Cube? You better treat Jowda right, because they're your best money-making artists right there, by a lot. So... Just saying. <laughs> and yeah, I saw all the different things online about how the song has like multiple interpretations and meanings and stuff like that through the lyrics and the title of the video alone and the fact that they're going for a whole Marilyn Monroe concept, like old school Hollywood. I feel like this is going to be Jaddle's best comeback ever in terms of creativity and just, just everything really. So let's not waste more time. Let's get in this. Three, two, one. Hit the playback. Oh, uh, okay. Well, that's what they think it's gonna be about. But this is just the tea, just like in the teaser. Oh, this definitely sounds like an old school thing. <laughs> um, show and don't. Oh, yeah. I'm seeing it. I saw all these different interpretations, like I said. Oh, dude. The, and the fact that everyone's blonde in this comeback, I'm just like... First of all, okay, even Shuwa is blonde. The one member that never changed her hair is blonde. Also, that's the whole how do I look spoiler that they've been doing for months now. Oh, that's probably Shuwa's iconic line right there that she gets every song. Okay, so you spit our rap. Oh, they're spending that money on that. Oh, y'all! Bon Shuwa is just doing things. And of course, every member just... They suit the blonde so well. Oh, and the switch on the black and white and the color, nice. Oh, Minnie's unique voice and her stunning beauty too. Everyone's. Oogie's voice too. Everyone's. Uh oh. Of course. <laughs> They're trying to tempt those people right there, thinking like, oh, that's what you think you're getting. Like, <laughs> nah. We have a different interpretation of that. Oh, yeah. Shredding that. Alright, so you're just ending it off right there. 
Oh my goodness. Y'all. I need to watch that one more time just for further analysis and a proper review. One moment. All right, everyone. Well, after watching that video a second time to properly look at the English translated lyrics and to probably watch the video again to see all the different nuances and stuff like that, this is Jado's most brilliant song and video. <laughs> like, I mean, basically, it's interesting how they got the whole, in, in the teasers, the very first teasers, they showed, you know, the bust of themselves from the back and stuff like that to pretty much get people's attention, thinking, okay, this is going to be a very risque concept. But then, lo and behold, all the teasers and stuff and all the interviews came in and they're like, ha, you thought, you pervert. <laughs> like, that's basically the whole thing, point of the song, is to pretty much, the fact that they used the term nude in a double, in two different ways, basically the first interpretation of it is because they're using it as an interpretation for just how they're basically exposing all of themselves as far as their personalities, as far as their talents, and as far as just them as people. And that's one of the things that they have pretty much made ever since Tomboy. Because, you know, Tomboy was all about them, you know, hey, I'm going to be myself and stuff like that. And whether you like it or not, fine. If you like it, fine. If you don't like it, fine. There's the door. <laughs> this is basically just another interpretation of it. That, hey, this is who I am and stuff like that. And the fact that they used it in a second way to pretty much show, hey, you thought this actually meant what you thought it would, then there's the door. <laughs> Again, that's the whole thing about that, because they're like, hey, we're not going to do... And I can't but feel that that was a diss toward... Like, this is just my interpretation, but it's... And not really toward the artists themselves, but the companies, like, that, you know... Even in Hollywood and stuff like that, where they pretty much... And where they pretty much rely on that type of risque material to earn money and stuff like that, and they're like, we ain't doing that, we ain't doing about to do those types of things just to make a quick buck. We're making our money by being real, being ourselves, and just being, hopefully, a hero and a good influence to some people. And if anything, you can pretty much say it worked, because with Tomboy success and all that, everyone just pretty much, Giotto is like the it girl group in Korea right now, like, Tomboy, Tomboy, I'm just gonna tell you right now, it's gonna get a lot of day songs this year, I can guarantee you right there. It has been pretty much one of the biggest, if not the biggest song of the year. Like, if it don't win a day song, just, something's up. <laughs> I'm just saying that right off the bat right there. And I like how, like, in the different nuances in the video, they show, of course, that little illustration moment right there, in the bridge of the video and how it was pretty much portrayed in a painting and stuff like that or a drawing on display and then it just got shredded on the line where it said I was born new you're so rude and I think that was a line but it was like that we're basically like <laughs> pretty much showing that all them perverts out there and stuff like that be like you are so nasty why you even think that way like See us as actual people. And of course, that scene where Soyeon was encased in glass and everyone's paying money and stuff like that to see this incredible statue. Again, a criticism of like everyone, like criticizing the people that produce those controversial contents for those people and the people that go and see all that controversial content just for their own self-pleasure. Like, I just love, I just, I just really like the whole double interpretation of the whole lyrics of the song and stuff like that like if there's anything that's another thing that's proven right now Somyeon she thinks of some great stuff in lyrics and stuff like that that's pretty much been proven for a long time now and is for sure concrete proven right here so yeah just my two cents right there because you know there's all these people on the internet that are hating on that type of stuff when they clearly don't even understand half of everything that's going on in that lyricism like everything though with the lyrics and the way that everything was set up and like the whole peep show slash marilyn monroe concept trying to make people think they're in for something that they were they thought it was but it's not and stuff like that and how everyone's getting mad and stuff like that like, even that scene where someone's cell phone was dropped and it showed <laughs> pervert 
and then at the very end everyone started applauding because they realized the right people came in and saying like hey we love this because it's not a sellout it's not anything to please the nasty people out there it's something to pretty much show confidence to show like just your true worth and self-worth and stuff like that and that's why Giotto has become an inspiration for many 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 people all around the world and especially in Korea like they're truly a one-of-a-kind girl group and if they haven't shown it as much in the past and they've definitely shown it now which they've shown it ever since the beginning but if there's any time that they've shown it with an exclamation mark it is right now and I'm really happy they're enjoying the fruits of their labor just wonderfully crafted video and song just Two thumbs up for me personally, so yeah, anyways, these are just my opinions, what are your guys' opinions, put it down in the comments down below, and yeah, this is Blaze, you're watching, and you'll Blaze, listen to the next video drops, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more, and follow me on Twitter if you want to, link in the description as always, and y'all have a great day, God bless you, thank you for watching, and peace out, Blaze Scouts!